The gameplay of Tiebreak is unfortunately broken, and we need to talk about that. It's not a video I am happy to make, but a video I feel that needs to be done. I don't want you guys to waste your time and money on a deeply flawed product. The game seems like it goes into the right direction. Game footage looks better now than it did before. But ultimately, the game still has fundamental problems with the gameplay. Personally, I don't care about the number of available players, cosmetics and career mode additions until the core, underlying gameplay is satisfying tennis video game experience. And as it currently stands, tiebreak is absolutely not ready to be released. Unless the latest Early Access 7 patch is some old build of the game, there's no chance the gameplay will be fixed and ready for release in less than 3 weeks. At the current rate of updates, the game should be delayed by at least half a year, if not a full year. So, let's talk about the biggest flaws of Tiebreak's gameplay. The first noticeable issue with the gameplay is broken shot balance in the game. Before Early Access 7, Topspin was the go-to shot. It was the safest, but also the strongest shot in the game, which was a bit too much. The flat shot, on the other hand, was inferior choice. It had too much risk and too little reward. Now, in Early Access 7, aggressive topspin and slice were nerfed to the ground. Most of these shots held with one of the triggers will go out no matter what. At the same time, flat shot became way better. It's actually so good right now that it's busted. You can spam aggressive flat shots all day long, perfectly touching the lines. All you have to do is avoid hitting the ball early and not overpower your shots. I am actually not exaggerating. I won 6-0 against computer using exclusively aggressive flat shots in every single shot in that match. In the entire set, I had two unforced errors. Two. And yes, I played on the highest difficulty. If you don't believe me, go check out the footage from that match. It's available on my channel. I saw comments on this subject that you can just avoid using flat shots and use other shots instead. I mean, sure, yeah. I can also play tiebreak using one hand only, with boxing gloves on or with my eyes closed. I can do all these things, but why would I? It's not player's job to create artificial difficulty to make the game enjoyable experience. It's games developer's responsibility to present us with a challenge that is compelling. This lack of balance between different shots is obviously a huge problem for the game. We have plenty of nice shot types in tiebreak, but they are all inferior to flat shot, so why bother using them? Currently, tiebreak reminds me of playing RPG game which has some cool skills and spells available, but all you need to do to beat the hardest bosses in the game is to spam auto attacks. There's also no skill involved in making good shots or missing in this game. You just have to avoid using shots that don't work and use the ones that do work. And so currently even Topspin 2K25 has more nuance to playing tennis than tiebreak and that's a pretty low bar. Next, we have to talk about CPU difficulty, which is basically non-existent in tiebreak. The highest difficulty in the game, called Expert, is so laughably easy that it's not even funny. In order for CPU to be able to hold the rally on the highest difficulty, I have to deliberately play bad and constrain myself. Otherwise, I get no meaningful exchanges whatsoever. If you use aggressive flat shots, the points usually end really quickly. If you move CPU from the baseline, the computer has like 80% chance to either hit the net or commit huge unforced error. Computer is just unable to play volleys, smash or anything that is not a ground stroke. In fact, the easier the situation, the higher the chance of getting a freebie from the computer. Like I mentioned before, I have won against computer 6-0 losing only 2 points in first 5 games and I'm not even that good in this game. Hell, today I even played with a custom made lowest possibly rated player with 45 rating against Alcaraz who is the highest rated player with 92 rating. I played on expert and won, yep, you guessed it, 6-0. The only reason it was not an easier win is that I was messing around with slices and drop shots to see what CPU will do. I cannot overstate the importance of fixing computer difficulty before the release. It just does not matter how robust career mode developers make. 
if matches are so laughably easy against computer, nobody will play the game anyway. Next, let's talk about serving. Serve mechanics have been recently reworked a bit. Before the last update, serving was really boring. You basically couldn't miss a serve, nor could you make it rewarding. It was just there as a point starter. Really, really bad. Now in Early Access 7, serving is harder, which is good. But I think serve is hard for the wrong reasons. Tiebreak players simply seem to struggle to understand when exactly they should release the shot button. And that's a clear sign of bad game design. The interface for serving is also very badly done and buggy. By looking at the serve circle indicator, you won't figure out when exactly should you actually release the shot button. I started serving way better when I turned this stuff off. It also helped me with the bug which makes the ball turning into a light bulb after the serve interface glitches. Funny thing is that once you figure out when to release the serve button with a player, it's actually super easy to get aces in the game. As the time goes, I am sure more players will realize how busted and abusive the serving mechanic is, at least against computer. And that point ties to CPU and lack of difficulty in the game. I found at least 4 types of serves that are basically guaranteed ace against CPU on the highest difficulty. Flat serve down the T-line, white slice serve, slice down the T-line, and white kick serve from white serving position. Funnily, the first three serve types mentioned are just typical serves in real tennis, right? And it's not that these serves are too good, too fast for CPU to react well. Computer is just not programmed to react to them on time, which is crazy, but not surprising at this point. Another thing that bothers me in tiebreak gameplay is continuous presence of scrambling mechanics. I have one question here. Why the hell is it even in the game? Anything related to holding both triggers simultaneously makes tiebreak worse game than it would be without it. The presence of this mechanic surely makes balancing shots and running even harder. After all, developers have to balance the game around that damn sprinting speed of scramble. Plus, despite positive tweaks to movement in the last patch, scrambling still looks absolutely unrealistic and allows to run in circles. Perhaps someone important in the company had this brilliant idea to add scrambling, and so they keep it in the game regardless of players' feedback. Lastly, let's talk about court surfaces. There are two problems I have with them. First, we still don't have grass courts in the game, which is wild. And the second issue is that the court surfaces don't actually matter. Matches play absolutely the same, regardless of playing on hard or clay court. Court surfaces are actually a very important factor distinguishing different tournaments in other games. It's partially the reason games like Tennis Elbow 4 are loved by tennis simulation fans. What's funny is that even in tiebreak we can select preferred court type for players. But why is that a thing if courts don't affect anything? And before you tell me that they will surely add it to the game for full release, well, maybe they will add it. But let me ask you this. If they haven't sorted out shot balance in so many patches, what makes you think they will figure out court physics in just one patch? So, those are the biggest reasons why I think the game will flop if it's released too soon. These are not minor issues. They are game-breaking problems. There are also other issues with tiebreaks gameplay, like clunky volleys, awkward lunging animations for defensive shots, players and the ball teleporting in online matches, and many many more. But I wanted to highlight the most critical problems, especially with the August release looming. As it currently stands, tiebreak isn't ready for full release. Unless the early access version that we have is an old build, there's absolutely no way the developers can fix these major issues in time, considering they haven't solved them in the last 7 updates. Right now, tiebreak is a worse tennis game for me than AO Tennis 2, which came out from the same studio 4.5 years ago. I will definitely review tiebreak when it's released, but with the way things are looking, I'm very skeptical about the game's future. I really hope I'm wrong, but if it's released in August, it's likely to be a huge disappointment. Anyway, that's all from me in this video. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.